Welcome, I'm Ben Gramica from InterNACHI and this is a free online class. To register for an upcoming class or webinar, go to nachi.org slash webinars. And in this InterNACHI webinar, we're going to learn how to inspect an Airstream trailer. Yeah, an Airstream trailer. Now, inspecting an Airstream trailer is similar to inspecting a mobile home and InterNACHI trains and certifies all different types of inspectors, including mobile home inspectors. In our free online mobile home inspection course, you'll learn the standards and inspection process for inspecting mobile and manufactured homes. And this is just a fun way to apply that knowledge and skills. So let's learn how to inspect an Airstream trailer. To inspect an Airstream trailer, we have an inspection process checklist. Download the checklist and incorporate it into your inspection report writing software. It's customizable to suit your needs and inspection style. You can download many other types of inspection checklists that we have at that URL, nachi.org slash home hyphen inspection hyphen checklist. Now, to learn how to inspect an Airstream, we're going to learn a little bit about how they're built. We'll also walk through a really cool 3D version of a trailer and look at the general inspection process. And we'll also inspect this trailer. I inspected this Airstream trailer and I'd like to take you on the inspection that I did on this Airstream trailer. InterNACHI, the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors, is the world's leading organization of residential and commercial property inspectors. To join as a member, visit nachi.org slash join. The InterNACHI School is the only home inspector college accredited by the National Accrediting Agency of the U.S. Department of Education, a real college. So enroll as a student in a college for home inspectors by visiting internachi.edu. And we have everything a home inspector needs all in one place at nachi.org slash everything. And we also have a ton of webinars. You can register for a webinar or watch a video recording of a past webinar at nachi.org slash webinars. And if you enjoy podcasts like I do, enjoy listening to the Home Inspector podcast at nachi.org slash podcast. An Airstream trailer is just like any other trailer. You can pull it behind a car or a vehicle. You can park it. You can have it temporarily parked or permanently parked. And it's made out of aluminum. So they grab pieces of aluminum, they cut it out, and assemble it on the floor of the warehouse. And then they wrap the outer shell of the frame and they use a ton of sealant and rivets. About 350 hours of work hours to put a trailer together and about 3,000 rivets, individual rivets, uh, to assemble all of the pieces of the shell. And then the shell is uh, assembled on the floor and then they pick up the shell and, uh, and uh, set it on the chassis frame. Um, and it's a strong reinforced shell on that frame. And then they install all the other components like the windows, um, the interior, uh, the interior shell and the electrical and the water and they bring in the furniture. All of the furniture is handmade and made out of wood and so is the flooring. The flooring is made out of wood as well. It could have a covering. And then they bring in the appliances because there's a full bathroom, a uh, shower, a uh, toilet sink, and a kitchen and a dining room and furniture. Now download the checklist and you can use the checklist as we go over the inspection process of the Airstream trailer that I inspected. Now let's take a look at the systems and components of the checklist. Start with the trailer data sticker and then you start on the outside, the exterior, and we look for level, wheels, spare tire, sight, jacks, chassis, hitch, and then you look at the exterior shell, the rivets, the clear coat, the rear bumper, backup camera, the belly pan, the insulation, windows, door, door chime, steps, the compartment doors, there are a lot of them on the outside, fire extinguisher, awnings, roof vents, antenna, lights, and dump valves. And then you go to the interior, refrigerator, range and oven, kitchen counters, exhaust fan, microwave, water pump, water filter, water valve, fixtures, the furniture, the flooring, doors and windows, and look for water intrusion. And speaking of water, there's the connection, the tanks, fresh water, gray water, black water, and hot water source. Then heating and cooling. 
the thermostat, air conditioner, heat pump, and propane tank. Then electrical. The electrical connection, electrical receptacles, GFCI, generator, and lights. And that's the inspection checklist for an Airstream trailer. Now this 3D version of the inspection process for inspecting an Airstream trailer. Well, you take a look on the outside and you wrap around and take a look, of every, uh, look at everything to get a good idea of the size of the job. And then there are those drain valves and there's some com compartment, compartments and there's hookups and there's the generator and the hot water tank. And then in the front, you can see the panoramic front windows. And then there's the side, there's a side door. And also on the roof, there could be a solar panel installed. There's the air conditioner unit and the cover and some roof vents that kind of act like skylights. And then there's the awnings. There could be manual or motorized and you would open and close them and look for tears or damage to those. And there's the street side. The camping side is the large awning and then is the short awning here, just to give some shade. And then the back side, the awning there goes in and out. Those are very nice. And then there's the rear bumper. And spinning around again, there's the front egress door essentially. And if you can get to the roof, you can take a look at the components up there, including the, the vents and the antenna. And then on the inside, there's an interior aluminum shell made out of aluminum, pieces of aluminum and riveted together. And there's a full living unit with kitchen and dining room and bedroom. There's the front door. There's some hooks there and some controls on the side, like for lights on the outside and inside. And there's the bathroom and shower to the right. That's a shower door. There's the bathroom sink and cabinetry and spinning around. There's the hallway to the rest of the trailer. There's the kitchen on the left and the bedroom to the front with the windows, the panoramic windows, kitchen sink, the stove and oven, the microwave, refrigerator. There's a privacy door for the bathroom. Open and close the bathroom door. Make sure everything works there. And then there's the dining room, the essentially dining room table which can be manipulated and operated to convert that area into another bed, which is very nice. And you would check out the pillows and the cushions and the seat cushions, look for their condition and just check the general operation. And there's the bed ready for use. And then you would go backwards. You'd set it up as a table again, lift the cushions, left and right, and then swing the table this way and that way and bring it up and secure in position. And you would open up all of the cabinets and the doors like the one at the sink. And also the bed has storage compartment as well. And that lifts up. And then you check out all the other features. There's the lighting and the fans and the vents and the air conditioner and heating system above you. There's some cabinetry there and the interior surface, the aluminum shell riveted together. And then the bathroom has ventilation. There's a fan and also a window. You would run water at hot and cold water at the sink, flush the toilet a few times. Make sure there aren't any problems with water pressure at this shower. That's a full shower there and the door is closed. Open and close the door. And look around for any damage or signs of water intrusion. There's more light fixtures and ventilation fans. And that's the interior of the unit and the exterior of the trailer. Cool. I'm ready to go camping. Let's inspect this Airstream trailer. I inspected it. I want to take you on my inspection. So on the outside, there's the Airstream trailer. It's a large one. First thing I do is I look for the trailer data sticker. Each trailer should have a data plate 
a fixed and a permanent manner, including the date and the VIN number. So collect that information related to the date of manufacturer, the make and model, the VIN number, the length, weight, number of axles, number of wheels, and document the original manuals and service records. Then start with the exterior. Check the trailer to see if it's level. Some trailers may be parked or positioned on uneven ground or the trailer may even settle unevenly. Check the wheels and the tires. Check each tire for condition and inflation. Each wheel has its own suspension. Check the spare tire and check its condition. Check the site for proper drainage. The trailer should not be sitting in dirt or mud. Check the wheels for proper support. Check the trailer jacks. Look for missing parts, bent parts, or damage. Check the stability of the concrete pads that support the jacks, and this is a defect here. This concrete pad is slipping. Check for rust and corrosion on all of the jacks. Chassis. Check the frame or chassis for sag. Look for rust, corrosion, or cracks in the welds. Now, Airstream builds the entire structure of the trailer and then lifts it up by its roof and places it on top of the chassis. It's a way to ensure a strong and durable structure. Now check the hitch, look for rust, cracks, and damage in operation. The exterior shell, look for dents, scratches, or punctures. About 1,200 square feet of treated aluminum is used on a trailer. It's a lightweight material, but it's very strong. And they cut, bend, and flex form the aluminum into shapes of various types of trailers. The pieces of the aluminum sheets are riveted together to form an outer and inner shell. The aluminum is treated to resist ultraviolet rays, mold, discoloration, cracking, flaking, and pulverization. And there's a white enamel applied to the roof of the trailer to help reflect the sun and keep the inside of the trailer cool. Rivets. Check the rivets. Check for damage, loose rivets, or broken pieces. About 3,000 rivets are used to build each trailer, and it takes two riveters to attach them all. Once all of the rivets are installed and the seams are all sealed, the aluminum body of the trailer acts like a semi-monocoque superstructure. The term semi-monocoque refers to a stressed shell structure that is similar to a true monocoque, but which derives at least some of its strength from conventional reinforcement. Semi-monocoque construction is used for, among other things, aircraft fuselages, car bodies, and motorcycle frames. The clear coat. Look for missing or peeling coating on the outside. Each trailer gets a coating and a wax by hand. Check the rear bumper. Look for damage, a bent condition, or something missing. There's a backup camera on the trailer. Check the condition of the ca camera and the housing. The belly pan. Check the underside of the trailer. Look for missing or loose materials. Insulation. Can't really see the insulation, but each trailer is insulated just like a building or a house. Once the outer shell is placed onto the chassis, the plumbing, wiring, and insulation are installed. Bat insulation is installed in the outer wall and it's made from sand and recycled glass. Once all the wiring, plumbing, and insulation is installed, the interior aluminum layer like an inner shell, is riveted to the frame, which makes up the interior walls of the trailer. Windows. Look for cracked, missing pieces, or fogged window panes. Windows are built in an extruded aluminum frame, and each frame is secured with rivets. The windows are made from tempered glass that's bonded to the frame using polyurethane to help with water leaks. And each window has a built-in gutter above it to divert rainwater, and the glass is tinted to minimize heat transfer. The front panoramic windows by the bed are shielded by three separate rock guards. Check the egress door. The egress door is 26 inches wide. Look at the door alignment in the seal. Check for broken door components. Check the door handle and the lock. Check the screen on the door. Push the door chime, it should ring. Check the aluminum steps, they fold up at the egress door. Look for loose or missing or bent pieces. Compartment doors. Look for missing parts at the outside storage compartments. Check the door handles, the lock, the seals. Fire extinguisher. Check the fire extinguisher if it's installed. Awnings. Open and close them. Look for functioning awnings. Um, look for damage or torn fabric. Roof vents. Get up to the roof. Check for damage, cracks, missing pieces. Check the seals. 
there are antenna to look for damage or broken or missing parts of the antenna. Lights, check the exterior lights, turn them off and on, look for damage, broken pieces or missing parts, check the operation. And the dump valves, check the drain and waste pipes and valves for damage, open and close them, look for broken or missing parts, check the operation of the valves at the gray and black water drainage outlets. The interior, look at the refrigerator, check the operation, the seals, gaskets, look for cracks, damage, check the shelving and the temperature. The range and oven, check the operation, look for damage, missing components, check the countertops, check for damage, scratches, loose components, look at the microwave, turn it on, check the operation, look at the condition, look for damage or missing parts or a loose handle. There's an exhaust fan or two, check the fan operation. Water pump, check the condition of the water pump and the filter, the water filter, its installation, the date, check the water valve, check the main water shutoff valve, its location and look for water leaks. At this trailer, which is permanently installed, semi-permanently installed, the main water valve is on the outside. Fixtures, flush the toilet a couple times, check for stability on the floor, run hot and cold water at the fixtures in the bathroom and kitchen, run water at the shower, look for water leaks, look for water pressure. Look for drainage issues. Look for water pressure issues. Look for dirty water and odor while running water at the fixtures. Check each valve for water leaks, like this one at the toilet. This is the kitchen sink fixture, hot and cold. That's this kitchen sink drain with the hot and cold water lines and valves. There's a shower handle. Turn on the water. There's a shower head next to the window and light fixture. And there's the shower floor. The glass needs to be tempered. And there's the drain that's on the floor. There's the shower fan, exhaust fan, and then there's the rest of the furniture. Open and close the cabinets, check out the shelving, look at the operation of the table, check the operation of the bed, check the storage compartments, open and close interior cabinet and storage doors and check the shelving. And the furniture, when they're building it, is brought inside the trailer through that 26 inch egress door during construction, just like any other house. The furniture, and cabinetry is handcrafted to fit the trailer, especially the curves, like this cabinet next to the master bed. The furniture is made with wooden dowels and solid wood assemblies. There's no particle board or thin paneling used for the furniture. Flooring. Some trailers are built with a proprietary tongue and groove composite formed from waterproof, inert, recycled glass, and polypropylene. And it's less susceptible to water leaks and inhibits mold mildew, insect infestation, and water damage. If there's a vinyl floor covering, check that for damage. Windows and doors, open and close the windows and doors. Check the window screens, look for cracks or missing pieces or fogged window panes. Water intrusion, check for indications of water intrusion or water leaks. Each trailer is put through a water test. The trailer is sprayed with more than 10,000 gallons of recycled water at hurricane force pressure for 30 minutes. During the test, a water control specialist is inside the trailer looking for water intrusion and water leaks. Water connection. Check the fresh water supply connection. The valve is there on this trailer on the outside and that water connection is wrapped with a heating coil to prevent freezing pipes. And then the electric line is next to that one and the TV internet cable is next to that one. And at the water connection, look for damage, look for leaks, Look for potential contamination conditions. Fresh gray and black water tanks. Airstream builds the holding tanks, fresh water, gray water, and black water holding tanks into the frame. And this results in a low center of gravity for better weight distribu distribution and a smoother ride. There's a heating duct to keep the tanks warm to prevent them from freezing. Fresh water, check the fresh water tank capacity, check the tank, pipe, hose, supply condition. Gray water, check the gray water tank capacity, check the tank, pipe, hose, and discharge. Black water, check the black water tank capacity, check the tank, pipe, hose, discharge, check the drainage pipes, valve, and drainage connection. Check the tank monitoring system. There'll be a button to push and it will give you the level. And there's the drainage connection and waste connection on the outside of this trailer, right below the fresh water supply. So watch for contamination issues. And there's the valve at the black water and it pulls out and in in a horizontal orientation 
and the drainage pipes are properly supported and sloped. There's the hot water source on this trailer. TPR valve is at the top right. The vent connection and the drainage is there, and this is for a propane hot water source. Heating and cooling. Thermostat. You want to check the location of the thermostat and its operation. Check the air conditioner cooling system. Check the operation. Look for damage or cracks or missing pieces. Check the cover on the roof and condensate from the air conditioner is drained through drip tubes that discharge under the trailer. Check the air filter. Check the heating system. There's an electric heat pump, electric element that pulls the ambient heat from the air and transfers it to the coil, heating the trailer without a fuel-fired furnace. Propane tanks. There could be a propane tank in the front. Check its condition. Check the plate. Electrical. Check the electrical connection to the trailer. This one is on the side. Look for potential hazards. Test the GFCI if it's installed. And there's a GFCI receptacle and extension cord for wrapping the water lines to prevent from freezing. And there's an outdoor receptacle on the trailer and it's GFCI protected. Check the internet and TV cable connections. And then there are electrical systems, receptacles and outlets. The receptacles here are three prong grounded 110 volt. And there are USB charging ports. You can check the charging system. Check the receptacles with your receptacle device. Check the solar system on the trailer's roof. Check the wiring and the connections. Check for sealants on the panel fasteners. Check the battery, its compartment, and the connections. GFCIs. Test the GFCIs. There's a generator. Check the generator, its running hours. Check its condition, wiring, connections, and starts. Lights. Turn the lights of the trailer on and off. You just learned how to inspect an Airstream trailer. I hope that was fun for you. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspector. The InterNACHI School is the only home inspector college at internachi.edu. And if you need anything, it's all in one place at nachi.org slash everything. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next class. <laughs>